Well, now we'll do an interview that, that may be a little bit better in terms of getting across to the client. Mr. McFadder, how you doing? I'm doing... Uh, Good to see you. Okay. Good to see you. Why don't you have a seat? Um, let's get down to talking about a few things. How's it over here at the jail? I know it can be rough. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. okay. It's not someplace I want to stay for a long time. Okay, I, I hear you there. When can I go home? Well, we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, are there, is there anything that you need that I can try to get for you? Um, there are times when we can put uh, a request in to have you moved. Are you on a block that it's okay for you right now? Well, I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a block here that's okay for me. But I hear you. <laughs> uh, could you uh, contact my wife for me? Yes, and, and remember we talked about that at the hearing the other day, and I did call her and talk to her briefly, but I would call her back, yes. What do you want me to ask her this time? Well, you know, I, I want to know how she's doing. Okay. Uh, I think that... Uh, under the circumstances, both of us have, have suffered a, a tremendous loss. Yes, definitely. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, what she's going through may even be worse than what I'm going through in here uh, because uh, the loss of, you know, our child and, right. and, and our niece. So that's uh, that's been pretty traumatic, and I don't think that she's taken it very well. Right. Well, when I talked to her, she was still in the hospital. Uh, but she is improving, and, um, you know, we want to talk to her, my investigator, uh, as well, because she was on the scene at the time of the fire. So I'm going to have to um, try to figure out when's the best time to talk to her to get the information that we need, okay? And any help that you can give us about how we should approach her to talk about it, please let me know. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, now, am, am I a suspect? Yes, definitely. That's why you're here at the jail. They, you know, they believe that you are a suspect. Um, they've arrested you, uh, and they're charging you with um, murder, actually. Um, they are saying that you started the fire intentionally. Now, we're going to challenge that. But this is a long process, unfortunately, because we have to get information from the government then we have to do our own investigation, and then we have to go through the court processes. And sometimes that takes a while because there are lots of other cases in court. So, so it'll be I a don't couple know. Of weeks before we go to trial. Well, it'll probably be a, a number of months actually before we go to trial. There'll be hearings along the way before the judge, but it'll be a lot of months before we actually go to trial. A month. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of months. But you know, we're going to use that time to our advantage. Because remember, I mentioned to you the other day that they're going to have what they call forensic science testimony in this case. That's going to give me time to research that and really figure that out so that when we get in front of that jury, we can make sure that the jury knows uh, what's really going on in this case. And all along the way, I'm going to keep you informed. I'm going to come over here and talk to you or have my investigator come and talk to you and let you know when th what things are going on, okay? The, the house burned down, right? Yes, it did. So uh, I don't really have any place to go home to, but I want to get out of here. That's right. Uh, when can I get out of here? Well, the judge has ordered you to stay here right now, okay? Now, that really hard often for us to challenge that, um, that order. But what we will do is we're going to take some time. I want to get some more background information from you today, too, about your life and relatives you have in the community, because I want to make an application to the judge to have you actually taken out of the jail and allow you maybe to be in a halfway house or something like that that would allow you to be in the community but still come to court. Now, I'm going to be truthful with you. It's rare that the judge will grant that kind of a motion, okay? But we're going to give it a try. 
Well, what kind of evidence did they have that allowed them to make me a, a suspect? Well, we don't have all the evidence yet. The government is going to, at some point, have to tell us almost everything that they have, okay? We don't have all of it yet. But I know that they are going to expect that they're going to have this fire person, this fire investigator who works for the city, who actually went to the scene and is saying that it was an arson. And they're saying that because of maybe some insurance proceeds that you could get, that you started the fire, right? And that I would kill my own family to, to get insurance proceeds? That's what they're saying so far. And I'll get more information, and, you know, we're going to challenge that. That's right? ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy. It really is. We're going to challenge It seems like that. that should be able to get me out on bond, the fact that they don't have any evidence. That's ridiculous. If that's all they have is insurance proceeds... That's ridiculous. That, that does seem to be not a lot of evidence right now, but they're still developing their evidence, too, and talking to witnesses in the neighborhood. But I need to get some information from you and tell you what's going to happen in the rest of this process, okay? okay? So what other relatives do you have in the area that you could possibly stay with or who would keep track of you? Um, or if you were released, that I could contact to get in touch with you. Uh, you have, you mentioned an aunt once, I yeah, think. Yeah, I have, a, I have an aunt, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, on my father's side. What's her name? Uh, Cora. Cora? Yeah. You know her last name? Uh, Williams. Cora Williams, okay. About how old is Cora? Oh, goodness. Uh, early 80s. Okay, all right. Cora's up there, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, and do you know her phone number or where she lives? Uh, I, I don't, but uh, my cousin would have, would have that information. Okay. Who's your cousin? My cousin, Jimmy. Jimmy? Okay. Yeah. Jimmy? What's his last name? McFadder. Okay. Jimmy McFadder. And what's his number? If you have cell phone number, that's fine, too. Uh, I don't have that, but I'll, I'll bring it the next time. You come to visit. Okay. When All right. That's come good. Come visit me next. Um, I'll have to see. I'm going to try to come in a couple of weeks, um, but I can send my investigator over um, to talk to you as well. So okay. Is, there's going to be an investigator on the case? Working with me, yes. The investigator. Um, his name is John Banks. Okay, and he, um, we also sometimes have students working. Um, they haven't been assigned to me yet, but sometimes the students can do some research for us, um, and every now and then one of those might come out to okay, see I you too. Okay, I want experienced people working on this case. Well, you know, I'm pretty experienced, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to work really, really hard for you, and John has, is a really good investigator, and so he's going to work hard. So if their lawsuit is working, you'll be... I'll be supervising sure, them. Oh, sure yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. And, you know, we're going to go for the preliminary hearing in a couple of weeks as well, too. And at that hearing, they're going to put on a couple of witnesses, um, probably a police officer and maybe the arson investigator so to testify. So then I'll be able to tell them that I can do it. Well, we'll have to talk about that a little bit more, okay? Um, because sometimes there are reasons why you might not want to actually put on testimony at the preliminary hearing. Um, but we, we'll have to decide that. I really want to get my investigator out there in the community doing some investigation so I can learn more about this case first and what evidence they have against you, okay? And as soon as we learn things, I'm going to let you know, okay? I want you to be part of this. This is your case. I know this is hard for you, Mr. McFadder, but we want to really have you involved in the case and help to make the decisions in the case, okay? Okay. All right. What could be better evidence than me telling them that I didn't do it? Of course, you always have a right to testify at your trial, right? And at the preliminary hearing, we could put on evidence, but sometimes that gives the government an advantage that we just don't want to give them, okay? Um, but, you know, you have a right, absolute right to testify in your own case, and we'll talk about that as we get closer to the trial, okay? Now, at some point in this process as well, we're going to get uh, more discovery, what we call discovery from the government. That's just more of what they think they're going to put in trial, okay, what their evidence is going to be. We're going to file motions, which are ways that we try to ask the judge to limit the evidence 
or to keep out things that might have violated your constitutional rights, okay? So there's a lot that goes into this. We're going to keep you involved. Uh, I want to make sure that I have all the information about you, background information, um, and we're going to go forward and see what we can do because we really want to work hard on this case. I'm sorry that you are in, in the jail right now, and I know it's tough, but we really are going to work hard. You know, okay? I, rather than spend the rest of my life in situations like this, I'd rather die. I understand. It, that, this is, I, I can't, when I say I understand, I've heard it from other people. I haven't been in a situation like this, but I, I can only imagine how tough it is. Okay? Um, and so I, I really do. Don't want you to feel that way, and, but I want you to know that we really are going to work hard for you. Okay. All right. So I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> Was that a better interview? <laughs>